And a good Monday to you all. Thank you for joining us on the Owatonna Today Show. It is the Monday after the 4th, July 7th. We hope you had a safe and happy 4th of July and a long weekend. We've got a busy week ahead. July is always a busy month. And we're going to be keeping you informed of what's going on so you can help enjoy your summer. We do thank you for joining us. We know a lot of you are checking us out on Charter Channel 8, where we can be seen six days a week, off and on throughout the week. So if you miss us one day, you can get us to get, catch us the next day. Also, don't forget, we're out there on YouTube as well. And then you can also uh, find us at the thirdhandvideo.com and uh, click on the Otana Today Show tab, and it'll take you to the list of current shows. And as always, we are on Facebook. And if you like us on Facebook, then you will receive notification from Leanne each time she uploads a new program. Also, we do want to uh, remind you that we welcome your questions and comments and any ideas you may have for a topic or for a guest. You can let us know via email at uh, Oatana Today at charter.net or by calling the show's producer, Leanne Alt, at 390-5751. We're going to get started today uh, with a couple of members from Park and Rec, Jessica Abraham and Brad Dunshaw. If Park and Rec is having a weekend out for the family, lots of things going on. And then it's time for the Steele County Historical Extravaganza coming up once again. And we're going to have Laura Ressler along with us to tell us all about the events going on there. So we're going to get right to it with Laura right after the break. So please come back. Hi, I'm Dr. Beth Giltvet. And I'm Dr. Nick Vincelli of Horizon Eye Care. We want you to see what you love and love how you see. We're proud sponsors of the Owatonna Today Show. I needed more than just another dead-end job. I wanted a career, so I expressed myself. With the kids off to college, I decided it was time for me to go back to work and express myself. Express got me in touch with some really great companies. Now, I'm on my way to a great career. Express Employment Professionals is in contact with thousands of companies in need of quality employees. Come in now and get the job you deserve. Express yourself today. When it's July, right after the 4th, we know it's time for the Steele County Historical Society Extravaganza. And that is coming up. And the director, Laura Ressler, is with us. Hello, Laura. Good morning, Betty. Thank you for joining us today. Now, this is, how many extravaganzas has? The, the 28th. That is amazing. That's and, a lot of lot of years. And you've been doing it for how many years? 12. For 12. Okay. So uh, we were talking before the show that it seems a little later this year because of when the 4th was. But actually, it's, it's about the same it's about the right. same. Mm -hmm. You know, we try to do the first full weekend after the fourth. So when people are back from back, the long back weekends, back from the mm -hmm. long weeks and the, the vacation away, so they can come and enjoy all we have to offer in Owatonna. Now, what we start with Friday night, right? Uh, well, no, Saturday. Saturday, I'm sorry, Saturday, Saturday night, night we have the Chuck Wagon Supper from five thirty to seven thirty with supper served five thirty to seven, and that's um, a whole hog roast. A shredded pork meal with calico beans and watermelon chips bars and 1919 root beer. That's the best. Yeah, so it's it's a real old-fashioned kind of, you mm -hmm. know, supper out. And then Lonesome Ron, he comes along and he uh, sings the cowboy and western type songs. Lonesome and Ron. Lonesome How many Ron. years has he been doing this? This is his third or fourth year. Okay, okay. So he does like the Sons of the Pioneer type music right. kind of thing? Right, and he even has some original songs. Um, oh, okay. He was at the History Center last winter. He had gotten a grant uh, to actually record and, and perform different uh, historic Western songs. So. Historic, okay. Mm -hmm. I guess I wouldn't think of Western songs as being historic, but yeah, th yeah that well, is Yeah, some of them yeah, go back yeah, a long, mm -hmm. long ways. They do. To the and how long is he going to be performing? He'll be there 5.30 to 7.30. Okay. Does he stroll or is he on the stage he or what? He kind of strolls around. We're, we've moved the Chuck Wagon Supper from the village into the History Center. Um, we okay. did that last year because we were forced to with weather. Mm -hmm. And people seem to enjoy it. No bugs. And it's cool. Um, you kind of miss the ambiance of the village, but, yeah. you know, you get to, you know, and especially not this, be miserable yeah. swatting at 
bugs. It is. And, and, and this year and in particular, with all the rain we've had. Right. Yeah. And we will spray the village for mosquitoes. Mm -hmm. So um, we'll be taking care of that. But it's just kind of nice to be in the History Center and cool. And, mm -hmm. and Now, do they the need evening. tickets in advance? Yes, you need to get tickets in advance or we will hold them for you. They're $12. Children um, six and under are free. Um, but um, you can get them at Kotke's, Tri-M, or, or at the History Center. Okay. Now, um, as I know we mentioned before, it's, there is a certain limit number, isn't there? So you right. Need to we limit it to like 250 people. And you sell out, don't you? We typically, we usually sell out. Okay. So, you, you know, if you go to the, the uh, chuck wagon or if you've never been there, uh, probably get your tickets early. Are they on sale now? Right. They are on sale now. Okay. They started on sale. And once again, it was Kotke's. Kotke's, Triumph Graphics, and, and the, the History, History Center. Center. Okay, yes. So $12 per person, $6 for children. And it's a great thing for, you know, I think of it since I'm a grandparent, to bring uh, your grandchildren to it. Yeah, it's a lot of fun that. for mm -hmm. the kids, too. And that's just the first That's just day. Saturday mm -hmm. evening. And then, you know, Sunday we kind of go all out with um, Extravaganza. It's a free event from 11 to 5. Um, we've uh, got the Cannon Old West Society coming back to do the scenarios. We've got great music, um, Danell Lenore, KC Men's Choir. New this year, we have Tim Penny with his Peddler Pumper and okay. Politician Group. I'm surprised he hasn't been there. there oh, well, he always comes for the fair, mm -hmm. and then he's coming for extravaganza as well this okay. year. So we're excited to have him. Uh, Sunday Punch Quartet. Sunday Punch. Yep, it's a women's quartet. Okay. What kind of music? Uh, like? Kind of, well, like women's barbershop, barbershop. or okay. four-part harmonies and, and that. And then uh, Darlene Schmidt will uh, round out with her guitar and, and okay. uh, singing. And it's Danelle Lenort. What? Danelle what has music? been around for a long time. He's probably one of the favorites that we have. He always comes for extravagance on the fair, mm -hmm. and he sings a mix of um, country and then some gospel and, and that. Okay. But uh, an all-around just really fun entertainer. We've got the vintage baseball at 3 o'clock. Um, if anybody wants to play, we're looking for players. Okay. And Do then, they have to wear old-time uniforms? Well, <laughs> those are provided because oh, really? the Rochester Roosters come over and kind of whoop us every year, but it's fun. Oh, I see. A team comes and you get your own old time team. Right, okay. right. So we get our folks together and uh, it's a lot of fun to play. Um, you know, there's no spitting, swearing, or whatever. You get fined. <laughs> Scratching. Right. Sir fines a lot. The umpire, he uh, will will, uh, um, will okay. fine you. So it's kind And what of, time is that? That's at 3. At and then three. we have the antique tractor show all day with the parade at 2.30. So well, lots how, going how many, on. How many antique tractors do you Oh, we usually get between 30 and 40. Really? That mm -hmm. many? And where, where do they park? Where do you they park oh, over by the foundation building and along... Okay along the street Maybe over on that lot. side. So, and then we've got all the historic demonstrations, you know, rope mm -hmm. making, uh, the small engines, clothes washing. We've got something new this year where they're going to be making bricks. Making bricks. Making bricks. Okay. Larry do you watch Ritchie. them or do you get a chance to no, do it No, you yourself? get to actually, you get know, your hands in and get, get your feet. You, your, you your kind feet. of work the clay with your feet. So this is something new. <laughs> the kids will go for that. Yeah, the kids will go yeah. for that, and then you know we'll have it so they can wash up. But Larry Ritchie from Faribault has been helping us a lot with the exhibits and things, and that's <clears throat> an area that he's very interested in. So is early pottery, and he's done okay. a lot of research. So that's something he's done uh, for Rice County, and so now he's bringing okay. it to Steel County. And where where are the village? Could we find that being done? That's going to be over by the church, kind of on the south side. Okay. So there'll, easy there's to see. right there's um, there'll be maps and programs. The other okay. thing that we're doing uh, this year uh, for the two days only is if you renew or join the historical society, you will get a free six months. So if you buy a year's membership, you get six months oh, free. Okay. And then we're going to put all those names into a drawing for um, a free day trip that we're doing in the fall, okay. which is a $120 value for two. So, yeah, lots of fun things going on this next weekend. So when you, um, going back to the bricks, do they fire them there then? So you can No, they just sit in the sun, and that's uh, how they, they, okay. they, they cure in the sun. Okay, so they make them, but they don't have to take them with them then? They can take them. They then can. Are they going to be dry, dry yep. enough? Mm -hmm. Oh, really? That sounds easy enough to do. Yeah. So it'll be fun, something different. You know, in the clothes washing, you know, nobody wants to wash clothes at home with a machine, but the kids love to do it with the washboards the wash and the ringer. And uh -huh. so I, re I remember the ringer. Yeah. Up, yeah. yeah the so, ringer. The, and then the great washboard. food. You know, we've got the um, Sloppy Joe's and all the Steve's Meat Market products, and the Oatana Noon Rotary helps us with the food stand, cake and ice cream, uh, social soda the ice floats. Ice cream social, that's right. The soda so, floats. So, you know, something for everybody. 
1919 Ripper going to be back there? No, we have, have the Henry Weinhardts okay. for the Saturday, Good. for Sunday, we have the Henry Weinhardts. So. Oh, okay. So now, this is um, 28 years, and you've been here 12 years. Mm -hmm. What has changed in that time? Well, you know, basically the, the core of the, the um, event has kind of stayed the same, but mm -hmm. we try to get a few new things every year, new entertainers, or like this year with the brick making, and, and that to change it up a little bit. You know, it's just, but it's... Um, it's just a full day of a lot of fun. You know, over the years we've added the vintage baseball and the tractors mm -hmm. and the chuck wagon that um, has all been in the last 12 years. Well, the years. tractors are getting more and more popular. Right. And then we have the, you know, it's the History Center is open. So there's three exhibits in there. If you want to go okay. over, cool off, and uh, enjoy the exhibits. What are the exhibits you currently Transfer have? of Memory, which is about Minnesota Holocaust survivors. Okay, Transfer of Memory. It's an interesting title. Yep. And then uh, Steel County Early Entrepreneurs and Steel County in the Korean War. Wow. So, and to me, I always think you always have something there, and I thought, who comes up with these ideas? And well, we've moment? got a lot of great folks that yeah. uh, volunteer and help. So, you know, there's never a shortage of ideas. It's usually how well, do we get good. it all done? Because usually, you know, if you have to scratch your head a lot, that can be quite a problem. Yeah. Now, no. something like the extravaganza, you you know, that's been going on for a long enough time. So you have an idea to just jump right in and, mm -hmm. like you said, just get some new performers here and there. Do you go to other? Um, Towns extravaganzas to get ideas or has well, history you, you know, as you go along and and uh, yeah, you you look, you know, last year I went up to the uh, Pioneer Show at um, Hastings and you know got to see the Cannon Old West Society again. hadn't seen them in a while, so we invited them back and. Now that's is that a shootout, right? Well, they do scenarios. Now? You know, there's a some some of the shootouts, but some of them you know are just scenarios. scenarios. You know, Where, which what they you, use the village buildings. And, okay. You know, maybe it's a train robbery or a shotgun wedding or something. Oh, like that. I see. Okay, things like that, and, mm -hmm. and those are what, what, like five or ten minute things that they mm -hmm. do several several right. performances several times throughout the day. So if you aren't there to you see the first one, you right, know, you, you can still catch it because people come and go at different times. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah you time. don't have to spend the entire day there. Well, Laura, I'm thank you for stopping by. So once again, in case somebody is just joining us. Uh, give us the lowdown, the Steel County Historical 28th Annual right. extravaganza. extravaganza. It's coming up. What are the dates? The 12th is the Chuck Wagon Supper, and the 13th is Extravaganza. Okay, and for the Chuck Wagon, get your tickets at? Kotke's, Triam, or the History Center. And get them soon, because you do sell out 250. Right. If you're worried about rain or bugs or heat, it's going to be inside the History Center. Correct. Nice and cool, and then you can go outside and and enjoy everything else, uh, on especially Sunday. on Sunday, too. So, right. Well, we wish you good weather. Well, thank and you. And a good turnout, which you normally have. Do you have an idea about maybe people usually come? Oh, there's you? anywhere from 1,000 to 1,500 well, usually. It's quite a bit to handle. So, so. thank you for stopping by. Well, thank you. And we hope to see you out at Steel County Extravaganza. When we come back, we're going to be talking about a weekend out, another fun activity going on here in Owatonna. So please stay with us. Hi, I'm Rick Smith, golf course superintendent of the Brooktree Golf Course. Brooktree is an 18-hole championship golf course featuring well-manicured greens, tees, and fairways. We are open to the public. I challenge you to find a better maintained golf course for the money we charge here at Brooktree. Come on out and play Brooktree, a great golf course. Everyone deserves opportunities to have a good life. A quality education that leads to a stable job, enough income to support a family through retirement, and good health. But the reality is many children fall behind, many families are struggling, and many others are in poor health. United Way's goal is to find long-term solutions. Thanks to a grant from the Otto Bremer Foundation, we're hosting community conversations this year to address these issues. If you'd like to join us, please call our office. Hi, I am Dr. Amy Swain from Amy Swain Hearing Centers, and for more than 20 years I have been helping people hear better. It has been a very rewarding experience, but so many people put off getting help with their hearing. Clients often tell me they wish they had started wearing hearing aids sooner as their quality of life was improved so much with better hearing. Call me today at 1-800-804-3361 for a free hearing test at Amy Swain Hearing Centers of Owatonna, Austin, and Waseca. That's 1-800-804-3361, where Dr. Amy Swain wants everyone to hear better. Hi, I'm Brenda with the Mortgage Office of Brenda Bednar, aligned with American Mortgage and Equity Consultants, where closings feel right, right from the beginning. I'm a proud supporter of the Owatonna Today Show. 
Hello, I'm Sean McNulty. And I'm Deb Gillard with Brookdale Senior Living, Sterling House, and Claire Bridge of Owatonna. And we are a proud sponsor of the Owatonna Today Show. Hi, I'm Ron Clancher with Clancher and Sun Landscaping and Concrete. We support the Owatonna Today Show, and so should you. We are back. Our guests now are Jessica Abraham and Brad Dushaw. Yep. I want to make sure I get that right. I said got it messed up in the beginning. So now you are with Parks and Recreation, mm -hmm. and Correct. it's a big weekend uh, coming up. First of all, what are your uh, job descriptions? What is it you do at Park and Rec? I am an office assistant at the Parks and Recreation okay. Department. And I've been there since September. So, so you probably do a little a bit of everything then. Yeah, right? a little Wherever bit of everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how about you, Brett? I'm a recreation supervisor. So I, uh, I assist uh, our assistant parks and rec director of facilities with the facilities, uh, senior place, water park, um, fitness center, and just kind of a oh, broad right. range of different events and a lot stuff. Of things. So now this, um, how did all this come about this weekend? Out? First of all, let's, let's say when it's going to be. It starts when? Uh, it starts this Friday, uh, July 11th, and we'll have be having activities Friday night and then Saturday and Sunday. Okay, and this is kind of a family outing type of thing. How many years have you been doing this? This is our uh, fourth annual um, okay. for the weekend out. Um, it's it's a big big deal. I think we've we've gotten quite a few people out uh, for the past couple of years. Um, obviously, the Friday night with the movie movie in the park mm -hmm. we've had for the past couple of years. We've had quite a few people out there. I think. A couple of years back, there was four and, four and fifty people out there watching okay. the movies. And this this year, you uh, have a very popular movie that you're going to be showing. Why don't you tell us about that? Yeah. Yep, we have uh, Friday night. We have uh, Disney's The Frozen. Um, I know that's been a really popular one Huge. the past past couple months. Um, so I think we're gonna it's gonna attract a lot of kids. Um, hopefully, we get the families out there and enjoy. And we get some decent weather. And one thing about Frozen, I'm, when I saw it advertised, I go, oh, no, another excuse for a princess. You know, <laughs> <laughs> so many Disney princesses. Every movie they come that out, there's true. a woman in there. you yeah, got another yep. princess. But it is a popular one. Now, and this movie starts at what time? Uh, approximately 9 o'clock. Right yeah. Any admission? Uh, no, it's free. Movie's free. We'll have free popcorn um, okay. sponsored by the American Legion. Um, and there will be concessions for people okay. can buy. But now seating is not provided. You bring your own... Blankets or chairs or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. correct, correct. And bug spray and things like that, mm -hmm. too. So, And, uh, yeah, the earlier you get there, the better, better spot you have. So do you have, mm -hmm. how big, big is the screen? Is it like a real big booby screen, or is it smaller? How big is it? Yep, I think it's uh, 20 by 13, I believe. It's a big okay, canvas. That's we, hang, size. we hang off the band shell. Um, and then R&K Electric, uh, they sponsor the, um, the projector and things like that. So. Okay, it's off the band shell, so that mm -hmm. gives a lot of room in that. Oh, okay, good. So, and, you know... It's a good way to get you know your family out and do mm -hmm. things together Definitely. too. Is there any anybody anything else going on there? Do you have any other music beforehand or? Um, no, not really. I mean, there might be a little bit of music before, but not really. It's just kind of everybody kind of comes and gets, gets their spot. Come mm -hmm. early and get okay. your spot. Um, and all we will have, like I said, the concessions there. Um, people can buy before to get ready for the okay. movie. Um, so. so you're all set to go. And that lasts how long is the movie? I think that's about an hour and 45 oh, yeah. minutes that's or so. Good. Okay, yeah. yeah. And it's a Friday night. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The next day. So, And that's just the first day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what can we expect on Saturday? So Saturday we'll be having, down at Morehouse Park, we'll start out with Pete Connor. We'll be doing a bike demonstration, um, driving your bicycle safely and lawfully. Um, that will be at, again, Morehouse Park at 9 o'clock. Okay. And then... At Mineral Springs Park, we'll be having our backyard blast from 10 to 2, and then also we'll be having a free picnic lunch from 11 to 1, also at Mineral Springs Park. Okay, so what, uh, first of all, let's get to the food. That's <laughs> 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 the best part. Uh, what, what kind of a uh, picnic lunch? We'll be, if actually, Fairway Foods is sponsoring the picnic lunch, and they will be providing uh, hot dogs and chips, chips and water. And water. Okay. Now, is there a charge for that, too? Nope, that's, that's free. As free. Well. Mm -hmm. Okay, now when you say backyard blast, it's not just usually a picnic. You usually have other, probably some games going on mm -hmm. as well. Right, yep. we'll, have, uh, we'll have the beanbag toss, um, oh, that's fun. washer boards, <laughs> we'll have... Um, for someone lab. who's not familiar with washer boards, why don't you explain Washer that boards, is. It's about, uh, I think it's like a four foot by a foot board that's got three holes in it. You have little washers, mm -hmm. and you toss them, toss them in. Play, you can play one-on-one, -on -one, two versus two. Um, we'll have ladder golf out there as well. 
and then Horseshoe's got the nice okay. Horseshoe pits out at Mineral Springs as well. And then the Ladder Golf, for someone who's not familiar with Ladder Golf, yep. well, why don't you explain how that works? Um, so you got the two golf balls attached to a string, and then you have the, mm -hmm. it's got three three steps for the, um, the ladder. And you, Different levels for different points, yep, right? Yep, three, three, two, one for points. And so. having played that, it takes you a while to figure out how do you, do you throw it? Do you throw it in the middle and toss it? Do you toss it with one ball? Uh, but, I, mm -hmm. I just toss it with the one ball. One ball yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen some really unusual <laughs> yeah, things happen. Sure. That, is, that is a lot of fun with that. Mm -hmm. And now, again, all that is free of charge. Mm -hmm. Now, as you said, this is your fourth year doing this. What kind of a turnout have you usually had for the, the picnic itself? Yeah, I think it's been... Pretty popular. Yeah, I was definitely. I was here back in 2012 as an intern, mm -hmm. and we had a very good turnout um, for the for, yeah, for the weekend out in the past. So we're expecting quite a few people out there. So, so you probably need a lot of assistance for that too. Do you have like summertime? Mm -hmm. There's help a lot of uh, summertime help that with like the water park staff and mm -hmm. uh, that can come down and help at the parks. So and that's uh, again starts at 10. You said mm -hmm. so you can come and and. Uh, Play a couple of games and yep. have someone mm -hmm. should go back and yep. play some more. Challenge mm -hmm. your friends, family, yeah. different community members, whoever. Yep. So. And it's also a good thing for, for seniors just to come on out. Oh, definitely. Oh, definitely. You, know, mm -hmm. you think of you know those games for you know kids going out there and having fun too. Mm -hmm. But you know it's a good outlet for seniors who probably don't you know aren't really active to come out and mm -hmm. and uh, enjoy have a lunch and, and enjoy yep. the park and you know some of those games can be mm -hmm. fun as well. And I forgot we have the we have the beauty of the nice uh, disc golf course out there as well. That we'll be having we'll have disc um, disc golf for people to try out as well out there. Okay, so, so now that I, that's difficult. <laughs> I, I tried a couple of times. I, I can't. Well, I can't go. Period. Yeah. yeah. So I thought, well, maybe frisbee I can yeah. make work. No, no, <laughs> not not any better. So I, I need a ball, but not a golf ball. Right. Now that is on Saturday, mm -hmm. and then there's also something going on on Sunday as well, isn't there? A whole mm -hmm. weekend, you said, and it truly is. Yep, we'll finish up the weekend out um, out at the River Springs Water Park. It'll be a two, our two dollar admission day. Um, it's gonna be a, hopefully if it's beautiful, out, we're gonna have a lot of people out there. So it's a perfect time to Fabulous come out. Fabulous price, yes, you can't beat mm -hmm. that. You can't yeah. beat the price there. And when does that open? Uh, we open at when? We'll open at noon, um, noon. normal time. So noon to eight will be open um, out there at the at the water park. So. Okay, and I assume on Sundays you don't get any uh, groups coming from out of town on the buses. Typically no. not. Yeah, not so we we typically won't schedule any groups for those two dollar okay. days yeah. just because mm -hmm. we have so many people, people. that come out there and, um, for that mm -hmm. the great price. Because that is busy. I've been out there when all of a sudden here's a bus and here's a bus and here's a bus yeah. and, and you and can't find a, a chair to sit. <laughs> in. <laughs> but the grass you know, is that's, nice that's too, though. Good for the for the park. Oh, and, definitely. You know, it's a beautiful good atmosphere. Park. Yeah, it's a good atmosphere. And uh, now, of course, there's always lifeguards on duty and this and that. Do you have, for someone who may, the first time I went to the water park, um, you, know, you have to look around to see there's age restrictions in, in that for certain areas, is there not? On well, it's uh, or usually going by height. Yeah, yeah height. 48 mm -hmm. inches, um, depending on the slides and things right. like that. The slides, so. you got the, the, the river. The Lazy River. Yeah, the Lazy mm -hmm. River and this and that. And then the two slides. Yep, the tube slide and those then the, the regular body mm -hmm. slide. So. Those are always mm -hmm. fun. Yeah. And again, you know, not only a good activity, you know, for your family, but to, to bring your grandkids or seniors right. to get out. Yeah, and too. actually I want to mention that is why we hold the weekend out in July. Um, July is National Parks and Recreation Month. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this year's theme is Out is In. So... So oh, yeah, being mm -hmm. outside. Right. Yep. Just yep. get you outside, mm -hmm. enjoy the amenities yes. that we have to offer you know, mm -hmm. on the trail. I mean, it doesn't even have to be just our, our weekend out either. We encourage you to come out for that, but we have the trails, um, you know, different lakes, Lake Chase, Lake Colmire. So. That's a good idea because, you know, when it gets warm and if you have mosquitoes, kids like to be inside. Yeah, on there. <laughs> yep. You know, you have to get outside and get moving mm -hmm. and have some fun outside. Load up and a do bug spray and get out there. Yeah, really. And now when you get the bike, you know, how to ride a bike safely and that's mm -hmm. so they know that going on mm -hmm. and everything. Yes, the more you can do to get outside, the better will anybody Yeah, that definitely. Works. So uh, once again, for a quick wrap-up for someone who just may be joining us, the weekend out, out is in, begins when? Uh, this Friday, July 11th, and then we'll have uh, things going on Saturday and Sunday. Mm -hmm. So the, the movie Frozen in the park. Mm -hmm. And uh, that starts, you said, about 9.30, about oh, dusk. About 9 o'clock. When, mm -hmm. when you can, you know... See yep. the movie when right. it's dark. Yeah. Exactly. Have to use your judgment. It can come down any time yep. before that. Mm -hmm. And it lasts about you know, a couple hours. And then the bike safety and the uh, fabulous picnic and games and at Middle Springs Park. And $2, $2 at 
Thriller mm -hmm. Mission. Mm -hmm. Park. Mm -hmm. Yep. Can't beat that. So thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Today, thank and you. we hope you have good attendance. And of course, we hope you have great weather for that. Yes, too. We definitely. do need that. We yes. do, do deserve that. So yeah, yeah, we thank do. you for stopping by. And uh, we hope to see your family at one of these events as well. Uh, please stay with us. When we come back, we do have some announcements that we want to pass along. It is a busy time of year. So we'll be back in just a couple of minutes. Hi, I'm Mike. And I'm Jake with Napa Auto Parts. Napa has the know-how for all your automotive needs. Napa is a proud supporter of the OATANA Today Show. Hello, my name is Katie Marshall. A year ago, my family and I became homeless. We were scared and alone. Today, with the help of Steele County Transitional Housing and generous donors like you, my family and I are safely housed. I am working, going to college, paying my rent on time, my children have a warm bed to sleep in every night. My family and I are so grateful for this second chance. Please help others in need by donating to Transitional Housing today. Everyone deserves a safe place to live. We are back, and there are several things going on in Owatonna for the next couple of weeks. It is a busy month. Uh, July 12th, also we're going to be having uh, Music in Owatonna presents Music of the Early 70s. And that's July 12th, noon until 6 at the Steele County Fairgrounds. Uh, some of the performers include Papa John Colstead, City Mouse, who uh, they've been around for quite a while if you've... Uh, been over to Mankato and that they've been in the area. The Daisy Dillman Band and the High and the Mighty. Very interesting sounding. Admissions just $5. And again, that is July 12th at the Steel County Fairgrounds from noon until 6. So you have lots of time to come. Also, um, they do ask that you have no pets. You can bring your lawn chairs, blankets are welcome. Food and beverages, of course, will be welcome or will be available. They have lots of facilities there in the fairgrounds, so you can you won't go hungry. And then also on July 12th is Happy Birthday to the Owatonna Arts Center. Forty years ago, on the day the Arts Center was born, you can join them for a family celebration of artistic proportions. They'll have a variety of art activities for all ages at the art centers: a scavenger hunt, music food to buy, uh, also an interactive, family-friendly timeline, uh, the Art Center history, and more. Again, that is 10.30 until 2.30 on July 12th. Also, uh, just for teens coming up, you can learn to speak different dialects of English with uh, Kellen, Kelly Lynn Meeks. She is an acting instructor from New York Film Academy uh, in L.A. That's right, New York Film Academy in L.A. I just realize that sounds a little backwards, but uh, she specializes in vocal coaching, and she's going to teach a variety of English dialects from the standard English, and then you, you know, Cockney uh, in London, Irish, and New York, that Brooklyn accent is very distinguishable, and that's going to be from 3 until 4.30, so you can check with the Owatonna Arts Center in regards to more information about that. And then we also want to mention the, the blood drive coming up at St. Joseph's Church on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, July 16th, 17th, and 18th, noon till 6 on Wednesday and Thursday, and 8 until 1. You can call uh, St. Joseph's Church to schedule your appointment at 800-733-2767 or online at www.redcrossblood.org. Again, that is next Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday at St. Joseph's Church. They do ask that you uh, be conscious and give the gift of life. And that's going to be our show for today. We thank you for joining us. Uh, coming up on Wednesday, we're going to be talking with Darren Reed of the Safe and Drug-Free Coalition. That is on Wednesday. So we thank you for joining us. For Leanne Alt, I'm Betty Johnson, and this has been the Owatonna Today Show. <music>